It's a hot day. I have no AC in my bedroom, but let's roll with it because I'm sharing with you my birthday haul and it feels like a minute. <laughs> it feels like forever since I've shopped at Chanel. Yeah, let's get started with the unboxing. By the way, guys, if you're new to my channel, hello, my name is Amy and on this channel, we do a lot of luxury unboxing. And if you guys are a follower of my channel, you know that my favorite brands are Hermes and Chanel. I think it was last summer. Yeah, I think it was last summer I bought two pairs of sneakers um, and I have only still worn one pair <laughs> so far. But anyway, these are a little bit different. These are so cute. They're from the Runway collection. Kind of a long story because my husband actually saw them on a friend's feet and he told me about it and then I had to go and hunt for them. So here you go. <laughs> Ta-da! These are oh, these are so cute. Okay, let me show you both sides because they're adorable. These were actually the last pair in Canada in my size. <gasps> Look at them! They're so cute. It's a block heel in patent leather in black color with this gorgeous bow in the front. Uh, this part is elastic, so it's very easy to get in and out. And the toe box is kind of that rounded square toe so it's very comfortable these also come in white patent leather and I tried them they were not in my size but in the end I went with just patent black color because you can never go wrong with black patent leather so these were actually from the 24 cruise collection so no it's not the current collection that is in store it's a little bit older in this orange bag I do have a bag that was on my wish list and I will reveal it but more towards the end because in this portion of the video I wanted to do a small clothing haul the first piece I'm wearing already and this is the black version so this these two tops are identical it's from this company called S Deer I believe their headquarters store is in Paris since 1994. So when they reached out, I was very excited. It really blew my mind because the styles are very interesting. They're very modern, cool, puffy sleeve. It's kind of this 3D effect that still gathers around your arm, but puffed out right around here. Collar piece here also, you can stand it up slightly more or even close it up like this. So here you go, I've got it in a size small. I could probably size down if I wanted a really fitted look, but I just wanted to get everything in size small just to be on the safe side, pairing it with some shorts because it is the summertime still at the time of filming this. But uh, the rest of the haul is more fall forward or pre-fall. And these shorts are also from S Deer. Cute high-waisted shorts that give you that A-line shape, which I love. These days, it's all about high-waisted. So with this shirt, you can also tuck it in. This white blouse, I paired it with some jeans, some denims, but you can easily pair it with some white trousers as well it will look so good and you can even cinch it at the waist if you have like a white belt i'll show you when i did that with the black version it's so so cute wide-legged um denim pants this is my first time trying on this brand so i didn't know how the sizing would be but um i just went with small just to be on the safe side but i probably could go extra small if i wanted a fitted look and same goes with the jeans they're very very nice uh, really nice quality. These jeans will be universally flattering because I have more of a straight body type and they look great on me. They give me the illusion of some hips, but if you do have some hips, they will just fill them out more. And I love that the straight wide cut just is very modern and it's not so long that it overwhelms me, of course, with these heels. Skinny jeans are apparently out, so we all have to update our wardrobe with some wide legged or at least straight leg pants but wide leg especially i think is really all the rage they go so well with heels let me style this black top for you there's something about black that always looks so elegant and so majestic and i paired it with this gorgeous skirt black and white sort of 
um, you don't really know what it is, but it's just something so cool. It's like a very cool pattern. Three layers actually, so you've got the chiffon layer, skirt layer, which is again this nice kind of like random black and white and gray pattern and then of course you've got the lining oops i took it in a medium no wonder i should have taken it in a small because it was a little loose on the waist but it does come with these uh really cool kind of seat belt and it also drapes all the way down so it gives you that very rugged but also very elegant look it comes with it also has pockets and it's kind of the um pants type of closure and the last look i wanted to share with you is so sweet so i paired this top with these pants let's talk about the top so the top is this kind of lace detailed i don't know if i can call it knit but it's like a very soft knitted lace material and the collar is just so gorgeous it also has the lace detail here on the sleeves and the shirt itself is more of a straight cut. You just tuck it into any pants or skirts. Probably could have sized down, but just wanted to be on the safe side as it is my first time trying this brand. So what drew me to these pants? Because it looks just like a brown pair of pants, nothing so special. But it's in fact business in the front and party at the back because on the back side there's this zipper detail that goes all the way you can unzip it all the way <laughs> to your waist if you really wanted to i think the most flattering way to wear this is either just above your knee or just under your knee so that you have this kind of like flared out detail if you have some like really cool shoes that you want to show off the heel you definitely can do that with these pair of pants they drape really really well again i could have sized down a notch so instead of a small i probably could have gone extra small i will have all the pieces that i featured linked down below and i will also share all my coupon codes there's actually four coupon codes and it's kind of like tiered the more you purchase the more you will save at the very minimum you can save 20 percent with amy 20. hopefully i'll get a chance to try more of their clothing in the future but so far i'm really impressed that everything i will say my favorite is probably these two tops i mean they're the same top but two different colors okay let's hope we finish this without melting my face because it's so hot so this is pretty special because i've been asking for this bag technically you don't need to pre-spend for this bag although in most places you still need to have um a profile at your local store to be able to get offered something like this because they're still very very popular so as you can see it's this small box so i recently shared my massive ms haul maybe it's something that i will show in part two which i again i don't really remember but anyway it was one of those shopping trips i was just in store buying all the things that i wanted and my essay at the end told me i have a surprise for you uh, let's go into a fitting room and i was like okay that's always a good sign <laughs> i like surprises and so she showed me this it's a pretty small box and i'm not super familiar with this size box at least at the time but now i am it is something that i did ask for although my essay wasn't sure if i'll like it because and then you'll see why <laughs> she thought that way but it's a pretty small bag to reveal. Ta -da! <laughs> it's the mini bolide, so it's in goat skin. I can't remember which chef it is. I'll look at my receipt and, and like just put it on the screen, but um, I think it's Chef Mizar. And it's in palladium hardware. It's very, very small hardware. Only the feet uh, stickers all off already took them off they were quite sticky I took them off and then uh, the zipper pull is also in palladium hardware and it opens like so take this out so it's all black lined as well and it's very cute and so small and dainty the reason why she thought I might not like it or might not want to get it is because it's black again but I never have any problems taking more black bags. That's the thing with me. 
anyway, oh yeah, it came with also um, the strap, which is super cute, very similar to the mini Kelly strap, I would say. Probably the same length, I'm not sure. I have to compare them one day. I used to think that these handles would bother me um, because they are upright, but they don't actually. I kind of like them upright because they stay the same all the time. And these handles, they're quite small, even for my small hands. Um, they're really just for your fingers. There you go, that was what is inside and it does come with a booklet, but nothing else. There's no uh, raincoat or anything. The Believe was definitely on my wish list and on my radar for quite some time now. I knew it was not a quota bag, but that it was still very, very difficult to get because anything that is called mini is always hard to get, whether it's an Evelyn or a Lindy or well, Kelly especially, anything mini is super hard to get. So even though it was not a quota bag, um, this bag is extremely high in demand. So in actuality, I've asked for this bag for a long time. I don't know, I don't remember exactly when, but it's bought, it's been on my profile wish list for a long time and I only finally got one, uh, which is nice because I guess everything is kind of spaced out. Zippers are very, extremely smooth. I love that it has four feet, it's very cute. And I also, for the very first time, got a bag or anything really from Hermes that is in Chev because I think aside from all the lining of my Birkins and Kellys that are lined in Chev, I don't really actually have uh, a full bag made of Chev, made of goat skin on the outside. So that's a nice touch. It will also keep its structure a lot better, but I've already got an organizer for it. So I will show you that as well. Uh, even though it's black, I still want to protect and make sure it's clean all throughout. There is one slip pocket. I don't know if you guys can see that. One slip pocket right there. And um, there is a stamp in there that says Hermes Paris made in France. I feel like this charm will go perfectly on this bag, especially because the size and everything, the ratio, the length, everything just works. And also it has some black swift leather here and i feel like it's the perfect match the ratio the size proportion is just perfect for the bag because the bag is so dang dainty and so dinky that the the charm just kind of elevates it uh, and everything is cool tone just black and yeah cool tone with the palladium um, and I love, love the fact that this bag fits so much. I'm 5'4 for reference and the little uh, strap just hits me right here on my rib cage. And with the organizer, it looks like that. Oh, actually, I should show you which organizer that is from Zumoni. And as you can see, it's shiny because this is part of their new silky line. And I've talked about these a few, a few videos ago. It's essentially a felt organizer inside but they just lined it in a silky satin material which gives it more of that luxurious feel and um, look and also makes sliding anything inside your bag so much easier because the material is soft. Uh, this is just their prototype so it's one of their kind of like test model that I got a long time ago but I think everything now is on their website is ready to go available to order. I feel like they still make it in two millimeter felt though. I'm not sure. I always requested um, one millimeter because that's just my preference. Uh, I prefer their thinner felt, so with the 1.2 millimeter. But with this leather, because I know the bow lead is quite, uh, it's structured, but it also has kind of that soft, um, like it doesn't have any reinforcement. So I feel like it's a very soft leather still. I wouldn't keep the organizer in there all the time. I would just use it when I use the bag because I don't want to end up with any creases. Like So this is iPhone 13 mini. It fits right in there. Keys, six key. I've got my wallet from Chanel like that. This uh, coin pouch, I've got my car key. Yeah, it's pretty full, like hand sanitizer. Now it's really, really full. There's still some space on top, but let's just not go crazy because it's at the end of the day, a very small bag and it does zip up, but it does create uh, some lumps and bumps uh, because yeah, it's quite full right now. You can see a bit of bump here, uh, which I would never really, 
feel it that much, but that's a lot of stuff. And, um, you know, I probably, I probably wouldn't take this. I'll probably just like go like this so that it's not all stuff, but you can see the potential here, right? And especially if you leave it open, so easy access and it's super cute. It's very understated. If you don't want, um, the charm, it will just look I guess like this it just so happened that it's another black one but i did tell my essay that i'm ready for a color one too <laughs> like if, if they ever get more in stock that is not black i will get another one no hesitation for sure the only hesitation is the price because it's it's quite expensive anyway if you own the bolid or if you've owned both the alma and the bolid let me know your feedback on it i know um, there's a huge community out there that loves the bow lead and I totally get why now uh, you just don't you can't know and feel until you've owned one uh, it's so easy to use this bag is so easy the zipper is so smooth uh, there's just something about it and also the mini size thank you so much for watching I know it's a smaller haul but I feel like there's gonna be part two maybe part three we'll see <laughs> fingers crossed anyway if you're not subscribed already please do i would love to have you back and share it with your friends thanks so much for watching and i'll talk to you guys next week bye